Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. In this video we're going to cover one of the past HSC exam questions on the topic of condensation polymers and biomass. So the question itself will come from that chapter. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll read out the actual question and then you get five seconds to pause the video. And what I would encourage you to do is pause the video and try to attempt the question itself to see if you can answer the question. And once you've had an attempt, press the play button and I'll go over step by step what kind of answer would have given you full marks. So when you're ready, I'm going to give that five second pause. So it's a chance for you to break the, uh, pause the actual video and then I'll go over the question. So first I'll read the question. Assess the suitability of biomass as a future source of energy and chemicals for the industry. And that's worth five marks. So again, I'll pause. So pause the video. Alright, so I'm back. So what I'll do first, I'll just break down this actual question. First, we have to look at the verb, most important part of the question. It says assess, which means sort of make judgment. Make judgment is what is meant by assess. So make a judgment on the suitability of biomass as a future source of energy and chemicals for the industry. It also has the word future. So how good will biomass be in, may, in providing energy and chemicals for the industry in the future. And you also got to look at the actual marks. It's worth five marks, which means it's a big, big question. For five marks, you get about 10 minutes to answer that kind of question. So I would always encourage you to start with an intro. Start with an intro, which is just introducing the actual topic or the, what you're about to say. Then you have to talk about, in this case, about the uses. Uh, what kind of uses can you do with biomass? What can you make with biomass? You also need to look at the advantages, so the pros and the cons, and then just talk about you know is it generally is it a viable option? Viable means is it going to be used in the future? So what I've done, I've broken it into a couple of different parts. This is one of this is the far, first part, which is one of the parts of the introduction. So I wrote cellulose is a major component of biomass. Plants produce cellulose to give them added strength and structure. So the question itself doesn't talk about cellulose, but here I should say cellulose is a component of biomass. That's why I can talk about cellulose, because I've mentioned cellulose as biomass itself. And this other part that provides strength and structure, again, you don't get any marks for this, but it's just part of your intro itself. And then I go on with cellulose is a polymer made from repeating glucose monomers and can, can be converted back into glucose molecules through acid hydrolysis. Again, in this case, what I do is I, this is more your introduction still. I wrote, I write that cellulose is a polymer which is made up of your glucose monomers. That's important because these glucose monomers are the backbone that we can make these chemicals with. So you have to mention that we can actually use cellulose to make glucose because, and again, I just also I mentioned the, the way acid hydrolysis. Um, but you need to mention that you can make glucose monomers out of cellulose because using those glucose monomers, we can then make your different chemicals. So this is the next part of that answer. The glucose molecules can be fermented by yeast to produce ethanol, which can be used as a fuel and as an alternative to petrol. So assess the suitability of biomass as a future source of energy. That was our question. Here we've said that we can, by using making these glucose molecules of cellulose, we can ferment that to make ethanol, which is a fuel, which is a source of energy. So we'll get a mark for this. And next we write that we can convert ethanol, can be also be dehydrated to produce ethylene. Ethylene, which is the starting material to produce polyethylene and various other chemicals. Right, so polyethylene and various other chemicals. So here we've mentioned that um, we can also, out of this ethanol, which we made using our cellulose originally, we can also make chemicals. So again, the question says, assess the suitability of biomass as a future source of energy. So we've done that with the ethanol and chemicals, which we've also answered because we said we can make ethylene using cellulose originally. And ethylene we can make into just different types of chemicals. So now we've gotten two marks, probably two marks out of five, but we haven't given any pros or cons yet. So that's what we're going to do next. So here we've, I've written, 
What reduces the suitability of cellulose and other components of biomass is that it requires land to produce. Requires land to produce. The world currently fa faces a shortage of fertile land, and the land could be used to grow food instead. So that word, um, so I said, yeah, could be used to grow food instead. So that word fertile just means land that we can use to grow f um, food, um, anything on. So la fertile land is land that we can use for stuff. So in, in this case, we've been given a disadvantage because we need to be able to actually grow crops that we make use to make energy and chemicals. But we need to have that land not to make crops, but to make food in the future as well, because we have a growing population. So that's one of the reasons why we might not use that much of it in the future, because we have a shortage of fertile land. Another disadvantage was that the higher cost of production of biomass products compared to their fossil fuel counterparts further decreases the viability of biomass as a future source of energy, and again, I misspelled energy here, and chemicals for the industry. So again, the viability refers to is it going to be used? Is that might that be used in general? Um, so in this case, we've given two disadvantages. First, we've said not enough land to make all that um, plants that we need to be able to ferment it into ethanol and make ethylene. We also said that it costs more money to make, which might be another disadvantage. So here we've given two disadvantages. That's you know, two marks. We haven't given an advantage yet, and this is this one here. So the main advantage of biomass is that it's a renewable, renewable source of products that can be produced using fossil fuels. And remember, fossil fuels are non-renewable, which means that we can't renew them. More biomass will be used for energy and the production of chemicals when fossil fuel reserves have been depleted. So again, we think that fossil fuels will not last forever. They will be depleted at some stage. And once that happens, we're going to be using more and more of the renewable sources, such as cellulose. So that was one of the advantages. Okay. So again, first we did a quick intro, talked about what, that cellulose is a part of the biomass and how we go from cellulose to um, glucose and from glucose to ethanol. Then we mentioned that if we have ethanol, we can actually make petrol, which is part of the energy part of your question. And then if we have ethanol, we can also dehydrate that to make ethylene, which allows us to make those chemicals, which was also part of your question. So we had two marks for those statements. Then it says, what reduces solubility? So we talked about some of the disadvantages, such as that it requires more land to produce, and we can't spare the land because we need to use the land to grow food. And also, we talked about that it costs too much to make compared to your fossil fuel ones, so it's more expensive at the moment. So those two are the reasons why it might not be used as much in the future. And then we gave the um, advantage is that it's renewable, so that once the fossil fuels runs out, we'll definitely be using more of it, or most likely be using more of it, because we have no other source of it. It's not, no other source of chemicals, no other source of energy. Um, so that kind of question, even though it looks quite big, but remember it's worth five marks, you get 10 minutes to answer that. And the most important part is not that you write exactly like this, but that you have the same kind of format you know you make sure you have your intro short intro you cover the uses and you cover the pros and the cons that's what you have to do when you have an assess question so i hope that was useful